Hello. Today we're going to talk about work. Uh, so first we're going to talk about work done by constant force. So what do we mean by that? So work is defined as work is defined as mathematical. Right? Symbol is W, and this W represent work. So this work is not like a every day when we say, oh, I, I, I went to company and do some work. It's a little different. So this is a work that defined in physics, which is equal to F, which is force, times the displacement, and then times the cosine theta. So what do we mean by this cosine theta here? So if we have a box, and then we are we having we have a force here that apply from outside, right? So from a person, a rope, or so if there's an angle here with respect to horizontal, so why we speak about horizontal, you will see that. So this block we assume, let's just assume this mu equal to zero. So there's no friction here, but we still have N and mg. But we're not considering those two right now. We're just considering this F right now. So let's say after some time, this, this block is somewhere here. So we know it had just moved from here to here. And we're gonna call that D. So this F times cosine theta, as you all know, is going to be this part right there. So this is the F cosine theta. So F cosine theta is parallel to the D. So that's the part that can do work, but not this part here. Not the F sine theta. This one doesn't do work. Okay, so that's the definition of work. And so in this case, if I say uh, this, is, this F is equal to one Newton, and theta is equal to 30 degree, and distance is equal to one meter, so then you can say, well, with this force at d equal to one meter, and we're gonna call this one 60 degrees to make it simple. So cosine 60 is one half. So that's gonna give you one and a half joule, right? So if you, if you do, if you apply a force like that with an angle like that, and then displacement is one, then you're gonna get that. So that's the definition of work in a simple way. And now we're gonna talk about if the work right it's still done by a force but we're going to talk about this friction here so this friction force f and when you apply this f here so this is going to move let's say it's a little bigger than than this uh friction force so we are asking the question what's the work done by the friction then you will see after some time this is still going to move to here so then it moved the distance of D. So how do we handle that? So we are asking for the W by F. We're not asking for the W, the work down by F. So no, we're doing this. All right, so let's see. If this is traveling one meter, and let's say this friction is equal to 0 0.5 Newton, then you know this is going to be F times the D times some kind of cosine theta. So what is the cosine theta here? Look at this. So D goes this way, but F goes that way, okay? So you can also think of it as D goes this way and F goes this way. So that is your theta right there, and this theta is equal to 180. So then that's equal to 0 0.5 times one, and then times minus one. So you can see this work done by the friction is negative so it's negative 0 0.5 joule okay so that's another example of work done by forces constant force now i'm going to talk about the work done by a varying force so work done by varying meaning the magnitude is changing so for example if this varying force is going like this okay so we're going to say this is my f and it's changing magnitude. And this is the D is going this way, okay? And we know that this is doing this. So this F is going this way, for example. 
So then the theta here is equal to zero degree, and the D is gonna go this way, okay? So at some point, it moved to here, all right? And then, but the force magnitude is different. It's doing this, okay? So we know this work done by this varying force is gonna be WF, which is equal to this F, the every single moment the F is a little different, right? So the F, so we're gonna call, let's say, this is D1, right? And that's the F1, so B. I just think of it as kind of a little, you know, rectangle there, okay? If we, if we break it into enough pieces, right? We'll break it into enough pieces. Right, so then every single one of them you can treat it as a little rectangle, right? So it'll be F1 times D1 plus F2 times D2 and keep going, right? So that will be summation of Fi times Di. But what's that? That's essentially equal to the area here of this triangle, okay? So then that will be equal to the, tri the, the triangle's area. right, in the F versus D graph, okay? So that's the work done by a varying force, right? And of course, you have this theta, we are assuming to be zero degree, but you can also change in the theta to make it more complicated. All right, so that's all we're gonna talk about today. It's a work, the concept of work, right? Well, until next time, bye-bye now, okay?